Welcome to Library Storytime, and thank you for joining me today. So glad you could make it. Today, we're going to talk about apples because it's fall now, and you might see in the grocery stores when you go with your parents that there's lots of apples, and they're wonderful. So what kind of apples do you like? Do you like red apples? Do you like yellow apples? There's all kinds of varieties of apples, and they're all yummy. So today we're going to talk about apples, and your craft is going to be making a beautiful apple that you can use for a decoration. Now, how are you going to do that? You'll get an envelope, and in the envelope you'll have an apple that you can color. Color it whatever color you want. I've got some notches on the side and you'll get a very long piece of yarn and you can put it in the notches and you can go round and round and round and round and your apple, you can make your apple puffy like that. And for the stem inside your envelope, look carefully, you will have a piece of paper that you can match and you can glue that on. There'll be two, so you can glue one on that side, and then you can match it up and glue another on the other side, and you'll have your green stems, and then you'll have your red apples, and the fun part is you can take this, the yarn off, and do it all over. So come get your apple, and that will be such a fun decoration to have for the fall. We'll have many fall stories coming up. We'll have stories with leaves because the leaves are just now turning. And we'll have stories with squirrels. They're so busy gathering nuts for the winter. So we'll have a lot of fun story time. But we're going to start with apples. And before that, over, under, all around, this is your chance to go to a playground performance, which will be held at the Ballard Center Playground. And it's by the Lawrence Art Center. It is by the theater and dance for the very young. It's for ages two to six. October 2nd and October 3rd are the dates. There's several times during those dates and you can go to the Lawrence Art Center website to get all the information you need. So I think it'd be great fun. I hope you can make it for over, under, all around. That will be October 2nd and 3rd. Very good. Well, let's, we're talking about apples, so let's look at our apples. We have red, red apples. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six apples. So we have one, let's make a more in an arch, two, three, four, five, six. So we have red, red apples, orange, orange, oranges, one, two, three, four, so we have five oranges. So we have red, red apples, orange, orange, oranges, yellow, yellow, lemons in the tree. So we have one, two, three, four yellow lemons in the tree. Red, red apples, orange, orange, oranges, yellow, yellow, lemons in the tree. Green, green pears. One, two, three. So that's green, green pears. So we have red, red apples, orange, orange, oranges, yellow, yellow lemons in the tree. Green, green pears. Blue, blue plums. One, two. We have two. Blue plums. We have red, red apples, orange, orange, oranges, yellow, yellow lemons in the tree. 
green, green pears, blue, blue plums, purple, purple grapes I see. And there is a cluster of grapes. One cluster of grapes. Yummy, yummy. So we have red, red apples, orange, orange, oranges, yellow, yellow lemons in the tree, green, green pears, blue, blue plums, purple, purple grapes I see. It's a rainbow of fruit for me. And you will share. So we have red, red apples, orange, orange, oranges, yellow, yellow lemons, green, green pears, blue, blue plums, and purple, purple grapes I see. Oh, it's a rainbow of fruit for me and you. Very nice. Well, our first book today is A New House for Mouse by Peter Horick. A a new house for mouse, and as we open it, we enter into Mouse's house. So take a good look at Mouse's house. Look at his bed. Got the bed, got the water jug, got books. That's Mouse's house. A new house for mouse. One day, a little mouse looked out of the tiny hole where she lived and saw a big apple. I would like that apple to eat, the little mouse said. I shall bring it inside. So she has the big apple and a small, small hole that leads to her home. Let's see what happened. She tried and tried, but she couldn't pull the apple through the tiny hole. Oh, my little house is too small, said the little mouse. I'll look for a bigger one. So off she went looking for a bigger house. That apple would not go through that tiny hole. Looking for a new house makes you hungry, the little mouse said as she took a few nibbles of the juicy apple. Yum, yum. Then she spied a hole that was just a little bigger than hers. Why, this looks just right, she said as she looked inside. I wonder whose home that is. Well, it's Mole's hole. Hello, Mole. I need a bigger house for my apple and me. May I live here with you? I'm sorry, mumbled Mole, but my home is too full of books. I don't think there is room for both of us. Oh, I'll keep looking, said the little mouse. There's Mole. His home is too full of books. That's a good thing, isn't it? Soon, little mouse felt hungry again. I'll just have a nibble, she said to herself. And then she nibbled and nibbled on that apple. She spotted a hole that was just a little bigger than Mole's. Well, now that will be perfect, she said. And she looked inside. I wonder who's home that is. Let's look inside. It's Rabbit. Hello, Rabbit, she said. I'm looking for a bigger house for my apple and me. May I live here with you? Oh, I'm sorry, twittered Rabbit, but my home is too full of cabbage. I don't think there's room for both of us. Oh, perhaps not, said Little Mouse. Rabbit's home is full of cabbage. Little Mouse set off again, but she was still hungry, so she nibbled on the apple as she went, nibble, nibble. Then she spotted another hole that was just a little bigger than Rabbit's. Oh, that will be just right, she said, and then she looked inside. I wonder who's, we've had mole. We've had Rabbit. Whose home could this be? Oh, do you know what that animal is? That's a badger. Hello, badger, she said. I am looking for a new home for my apple and me. May we come and live with you? I'm sorry, barked badger, but I stretch out on my cushions all day sleeping. 
I don't think there's room for both of us. Oh, perhaps not, said Little Mouse, feeling rather tired and still hungry. She nibbled on the apple once again. Nibble, 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 nibble. That evening, she came across an enormous hole. That must be big enough for my apple and me, she thought. Hello, is anybody there? She shouted. Hello, anybody there? I wonder whose home that is. I bet you can guess. You're right. Why, hello, little mouse, growled Bear. Why don't you come and live here with me? <gasps> oh, no, thank you, squeaked the little mouse. I, I, oh, I think the cave is too small for you and me and my apple, and off she ran. Hmm, that was a big bear. Little Mouse was very tired now, but pulling the apple seemed easier. Take a look at the apple. Suddenly, she saw a tiny hole. Oh, that looks perfect, she squeaked. She looked inside. Hmm, does that look familiar? Let's look inside. Wait a minute. That looks like Mouse's bed. There was no one at home. Little Mouse went right in and pulled her apple behind her. It fit perfectly. Oh, I knew I would find somewhere just right for both me and my apple, she said. And she climbed into her own bed and fell fast asleep. Now, why did that? Apple fit through there. Let's go back and look at that apple. Now, when she, Little Mouse first saw that great, big, beautiful apple, it would not fit into the little hole. But why did it fit in at the end? Do you remember Little Mouse being hungry? And when Little Mouse was hungry, what did Little Mouse do? nibble nibble she nibbled and nibbled and nibbled on that apple until it fit so easily through the hole because look little mouse had eaten most of the apple there's still some there she can have that later but it was small enough after little mouse nibbled 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 that it came through the hole with no problem Oh, that's good, because Little Mouse can go to bed in her own bed in her own home. And that's a new house for Mouse. So Mouse didn't need a new house. She just had to eat the apple. And I hope you eat apples, too. Apples are so good. Do you like apples with your popcorn? I do. You can have apples with peanut butter. Yeah, many ways to enjoy apples. Let's get ourselves ready for apples. Here's our apple tree. So I don't know if I'm out of the picture or not, but you raise up your hands tall and straight. Put them straight up and let's do way up high in the apple tree. Two little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Mmm, they were good. Way up high in the apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree, shake, 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 as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Mmm, they were good. That's great. Good job. Our next story is 10 red apples. So we're going to read it straight through and then we'll go back and count the apples. And there should be 10 red apples. This is Bartholomew Bear. It's a Bartholomew Bear counting book by Virginia Miller. 10 red apples. Let's take a look at this beautiful book. In Bartholomew's garden, there is an old apple tree. Look at that beautiful apple tree. 
Bartholomew loves the apple tree. I see a red apple. Oh, I see some green apples, but they're getting, they're turning bright red. He loves swinging from its branches. See if you can find more red apples. And hugging it tight when it rains. He's hugging the tree. He loves climbing the tree. When little black kitten climbs too high, I don't know if you can see, but look at the picture. Here's the apple tree. Oh, I see some red apples. And I see little kitten. When little black kitten climbs too high, Bartholomew and George have to rescue her. This is George. Here's Bartholomew. And they're rescuing the little kitten. I see more red apples. Bartholomew loves hiding under the leaves. Oh, the leaves must be falling from the tree. Have you seen leaves falling from the tree? Best of all, he loves counting the red apples. And we're going to count them soon. George, this is George, the big bear. George shakes the apples from the tree, remember? Shake, shake, shake. George shakes the apples from the tree and puts them into a basket. I wonder what they're going to do. They're going to eat some of the apples and they're going to make an apple pie with some of them and makes them into a hot apple pie. Yum, yum. Ooh, apple pie. Very good. So, ten red apples. Now, we read the story. Let's go back and count the apples. There is an apple tree, and there is one red apple. One. How many do you see on this page? You're right. Two. Two. One. Two. Two red apples. Three. And there's the word three. Let's see. Can you count three red apples? One, two, three. Three, three red apples. How many can you see now? Right, four. Four, one, two, three, four red apples. And down here, look, we can count by twos. Two, four. Five, five red apples. One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yay, I bet you saw five. There you go. Five red apples. Six red apples. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six red apples. And because it's even numbers, we can count by twos. Two, four, six. Seven, seven red apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven red apples. Eight, eight red apples. We can count by two, two, four, six, eight. And we can count from the tree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight red apples. What comes after eight? Right, nine. Nine red apples. Oh, that's a lot of counting. Now let's count nine red apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, George shook the tree and down came the apples. Mmm, they were good. And ten, ten. Red apples, two, four, six, eight, ten. And now we have to count the red apples that are on the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
10 red apples on the ground, and they are going to be made into apple pie, and that leaves zero. All gone. And there's the delicious apple pie. Very good. And they are enjoying the shade of the tree and the apple pie. And that's 10 Red Apples by Virginia Miller. Red, red apples, orange, orange, oranges, yellow, yellow lemons in the tree, green, green pears, blue, blue plums, purple, purple grapes I see, a rainbow of fruit for me and you. Well, thank you for joining me today for Library Storytime. Don't forget to come and get your kit that you can make this beautiful apple. And then you can just use it as a lovely fall decoration. Thank you for joining me. Have a lovely day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.